Here's the number one reason why you're not saving 20% of your income into a savings account every single month. And the number one contributor to this problem is the reason why people have bad credit issues, bad spending habits, bad financial structure. My favorite topic, credit cards. So credit cards are the number one contributor to all of these problems, but also it's kind of that necessary evil where we need it to help build credit and build financial structure and, and learn how to budget better. Credit cards can teach us a lot about the way that we do things, but also can contribute to a lot of the problems that we have. And so you have to be aware of how much credit card debt you have and how do you do that? So I want you to take out a sheet of paper today, okay? And I want you to log into all your credit card accounts, get the total account balance and put them all on the sheet and add that amount together, okay? Get that total and set it off the side. And then what I want you to do is take your monthly income after taxes, you should know that amount by now, use it by 20%. That's the amount you should be saving every single month. You get that amount. I want you to take the credit card debt amount and I want you to divide it by your monthly 20% monthly income and you're going to get a total when you get that total it's going to tell you how many that's how many months it's going to take you to pay off this credit card debt and so what i want you to do is we need to focus on killing this credit card debt first there's no sense in trying to save money right now when all you're doing is paying higher amounts of interest 18 to 28 percent or higher on these credit cards. So we gotta get them paid off first. And you can do that with the income you currently have. You just gotta cut down and say, okay, 20% of my of the money I get every single month has gotta go to tackle these credit cards. And so you may have to live frugal for those X amount of months, but I'm gonna tell you, if you can kill the credit card debt, it's gonna help you solve a lot of the problems. Once your credit card debt is paid off and you're not utilizing these credit cards immediately after, then you can take that 20% that you have been utilizing to pay off the credit card debt and put it into a savings account.